Hey, everybody, Terry Daniel here. Hope you're doing well. What you are looking at is Voices.com. This is a paid membership site where you have the opportunity to earn real-paying voiceover jobs by auditioning for multiple projects. This is, um, there's a lot of pay-to-play sites out there. I would highly recommend this one. It's, they're, they're very well organized. They're great people. And I think the interface is really user-friendly. Plus, I've had the most luck on Voices.com, so of course I'm going to stick with it. Uh, I'm not going to get into the account details of how I set up my account, but I do want to show you how I audition for Voices.com. Now, a, f a few things to keep in mind before I take you through uh, the tutorial here. When you do audition for jobs, I highly recommend doing three takes per file. What this does, it, it gives the client something to think about because it's not a guarantee that you have what it takes on the first take, but maybe they hear something in that third take that matches more what they're looking for. So make sure you send in not only a clean audio file, but do more than one take. I think it's essential, and it increases your chances of actually getting the gig. Now, let's look at this gig right here. I'm going to look at the overview. This is going to tell us how many people have actually auditioned for it. Um, and I'm really late to getting to this one. As you can see, 82 people are already in front of me. This used to discourage me. But after a client actually hired me for an audiobook job from Voices.com, and he told me that I was number 57 on the list. So that was really encouraging because uh, I used to just kind of blow off auditions if they had like 50 people in front of me. Well, I don't do that anymore. So, And if you're just getting started in voiceovers, it's a good idea to audition for pretty much everything because practice makes perfect, and you're going to be able to practice all kinds of scripts. So. Uh, the more you audition, the more you are going to improve. Now, let's take a look at View Job, and I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Now, here's a look at the job description. They tell you what they want right here. The budget is between $100 and $250 right here. Uh, now, if you're new at voiceovers, I would recommend staying on the lower end of the budget. Tell them you'll do it for like $100 or $125. Uh, if you've been doing this for 20-plus years like myself, I might actually ask for $200. But everybody's going to have a different opinion on that. I'm just telling you what has worked for me. So let's go up and actually reply to the job. Now, this is the page where you actually apply for the gig. If you'll notice right here, the proposal area, this is, this is important in my opinion. And uh, when you first set up your account, you'll be able to compose different proposals that you can use for various clients. As you can see, I've got quite a few of them in here uh, from different names. Now, let's say that the client's name is Catherine, and the budget, as you can see, it was like, I already forgot, it was like somewhere between $100 and $250. Well, let's say I'm going to do this job for $150. Uh, as you can see, $150 is already in there. Now, my proposal is very brief. All I do is share how many years I've been doing voiceovers, and then I tell them what the rate includes. Now, very importantly down here, you want to include your email signature, especially if you have a website that you want to direct the client to, and your cell number. I mean, this is all optional, but I highly recommend putting your email signature in there. You want to direct your client back to your website where you'll have more testimonials and more information on your services. Now, if you don't have a website, you can also direct the client back to your uh, Voices.com profile, and obviously they can explore and browse through your profile as well. Now let's go down here and put in 150, and Voices.com is kind enough to calculate that for us. Uh, right here, this is the SurePay escrow fee. What is SurePay? Well, SurePay is a secure payment service that is offered to clients on Voices.com. How this works is the client makes a deposit, then they choose you to do their job, and then when you send them your audio files and they approve them, then the payment goes right to your PayPal account. It's a secure and guaranteed payment service. Uh, I'm really glad that they use SurePay. Now let's go down here. This right here is where you're going to attach your MP3 of your audition. Uh, again, I would highly recommend you keep all of your audio files on a external hard drive. So you're going to attach that there and then you're going to send it in. Now, the key to getting jobs on Voices.com, in my opinion, again, this is all based on experiences that I've had. Get the job in as soon as possible. For those of you that have memberships on Voices.com, you already know that you get notices sent to your email inbox 
when you receive those, uh, get on it as fast as you can, uh, because the earlier the better, in my opinion. Uh, you don't want to let that uh, audition notice sit in your inbox for, for days and days without you doing anything about it. So, again, make sure you get the audition in early. Make sure you do more than one take in your audition. I would recommend doing three. And uh, just make sure your audio is clean and professional. So there's a few tips on how I audition on Voices.com. Uh, this is Terry Daniel, and I will talk to you real soon. Thanks for taking the time to view this module.